Hello Travelers, Vic Shea Bricotta here, and today we're in New York City. Throughout my travels, I've met people from all over the world who are interested and very passionate about New York City, but they are sometimes apprehensive of taking the subway or taking the New York commuter rails. Some people don't even know where to start just getting a train or subway ticket, but you'll see that it's much easier than most cities around the world. We'll first start off with the New York subway system and how to get a metro card and other options for payment. There are two different types of metro card machines. The one on the left accepts cash and the one on the right only accepts credit card and ATM cards. But between the two machines, the option prompts are exactly the same. Press start, then select your language. If you're a tourist in Manhattan, I highly suggest you do not get the single ride. This is only valid for one trip, so that means you would be going to the subway station to the ticket machine every single time you want to take the subway. Just select a regular metro card. If you don't have an existing metro card, press get new metro card. If you're staying in New York City for around 7 days, then I highly suggest you get the 7 day unlimited ride metro card for $33. You would get much more value from your metro card this way. But if you're staying for a shorter time, then you can get away with getting a regular metro card. Since subway fares are $2.75, an $11 metro card would be 4 fares, a $22 card would be 8 fares. If you're getting a new metro card, then you'll have to pay a $1 new card fee. Otherwise, if you're reloading a metro card, then you don't have to pay this fee. You have the options to pay cash, ATM card, or credit card. These machines accept all major international credit cards. Some subway stations even have the new tap and go payment system. You could either use your cell phone, or if you have a credit card that has an RFID, you could just place it on top of the scanner and then go right through. The fare will then be charged straight to your credit card. The Long Island Railroad Terminal is at Penn Station. It is located at 34th and 7th, the same station as Madison Square Garden. You can purchase tickets at Penn Station or at any Long Island Railroad branch. Right now I'm at the Kings Park Long Island Railroad Station, so it automatically selected Kings Park as the origin. It gives you the options to either go to Penn Station or select to another station. Just type your station name and it will automatically populate. Peak trains are Monday through Friday except holidays, with trains arriving in New York City 6 to 10 a.m. and departing New York City 4 to 8 p.m. For all other train times, select off peak. Just like in the subway, you have the options to pay by cash, ATM bank card, or credit card. The tickets will then be dispensed on the bottom. You can also download the MTA eTix app to buy Long Island Railroad train tickets easily. The prompts are simple. Click Buy Tickets. Then type in your origin station. For this example, I chose Penn Station and I'm going to Huntington. You could either choose a 10 trip, one way, round trip ticket, or weekly ticket. And you can choose from peak or off peak. In this case, I'm choosing round trip ticket and I will go off peak. Accept and continue and then move on to the payment screen. Your purchase ticket will appear in the ticket wallet. Click ticket wallet. Then click Activate Ticket before you get on the train. Remember, if you don't do this, your ticket will not be valid, so make sure you do it before you get on the train. You can also use the eTix app to see the train times. Click on Train Time. Then type in the train stations that you're traveling from and to. In this case, I'm going from Fan Station to Huntington. And since this is peak time, the trains are coming rather frequently, about every 10 minutes or so. It's probably better off to use the MTA eTix app. It's much easier, you don't have to worry about queuing at the ticket machine and worry about missing your train. 
the ticket machine typically has very long lines, maybe about 10 people in front sometimes that don't know what they're doing. So if you use the MTA eTix app, you can get it right on your phone and it costs exactly the same. Just make sure that you activate it right before you get on the train, otherwise it won't be valid. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. And as a thank you, I'd like to suggest a map that you could download for using the MTA subway maps. And don't worry, no cell phone or Wi-Fi connection is necessary to use this app. The navigation is simple. Just drag left and right up and down to move, and pinch in and out to zoom in and out. And it's that easy. Thanks everybody, and I hope you enjoy your trip in New York. Take care.